Pebbles Kid Stories. Loyalty and Dedication of Shravan. Shravan was a young and poor boy. He used to love his parents very much. He used to take good care of them. Shravan was helping his parents on a pilgrimage to many religious places all over India. As his parents were old and blind, he was carrying them in two baskets slung over his shoulders. As they were passing the forest of Ayodhya, Shravan was hit by an arrow shot by Prince Dashrath. Shravan was injured. But even in his dying breath, he asked Prince Dashrath to carry water to his thirsty parents. The moral of the story is, we should always love and take care of our parents. The Elephant Rope In a small village of Kerala, there was an elephant camp. There were many elephants in the camp. There were elephant babies too. One day, a tourist was passing by the camp. He noticed that the elephants were not kept inside the cages, neither they were tied by chains. All that was holding them back was a small piece of rope tied to one of their legs. As the man saw the elephants, he was confused as to why the elephants were not using their strength to break free and escape from the camp. They could have easily done so, but they did not try at all. Curious and wanting to know the answer, the man asked the trainer standing nearby as to why the elephants never tried to escape. The trainer replied that when the elephants are small and young, they are tied with the same small rope. At that age, it is enough for them. But even when they grow up, they are conditioned to believe that they cannot break free. They believe that the rope can still hold them. So they never try to break free. The only reason that they cannot escape from the camp and cannot break free is that over a period of time, they tend to believe that it is not possible. The moral of the story is, always believe in yourself and never think that it's impossible. The Blind Girl In a small town lived a beautiful girl. But she hated herself because she was blind. She had a loving boyfriend. He used to always be there for her and used to take good care of her. He loved her very much. One day, she said to her boyfriend, If only I could see the world, I would marry you. The boyfriend looked at her and felt very sad. One day, someone donated a pair of eyes to the girl. After the operation, she could see everything including her boyfriend. Both of them were very happy. Her boyfriend asked her, Now that you can see everything, will you marry me? The girl was shocked to notice that the boy was blind. She refused to marry him. The boy walked away with tears in his eyes. After a few days, the boy wrote a letter to her saying, Always be happy in your life. And please take good care of my eyes, dear. After reading the letter, the girl was speechless. The moral of the story is, we should always respect true love and appreciate it. A Mother's Love A Thomas Edison Story One day, Thomas Edison came home from school and gave a paper to his mother. He said to her, This has been given to me by my teacher. She told me to give it only to you. His mother's eyes were full of tears as she read the letter to her child. She read, Your son is a genius. 
This school is too small for him and it does not have enough good teachers. You can teach him yourself. Many years had passed and Edison's mother had died. And Edison had become one of the greatest inventors of the century. One day when Edison was going through his closet, he found a letter given to him by his teacher for his mother. He opened the letter. The message written on the letter was, Your son is mentally ill. We cannot keep him in our school anymore. He is expelled from the school. Edison became emotional while reading it. And then he wrote in his diary, Thomas Elva Edison was a mentally ill boy. But his mother made him the genius of the century. The moral of the story is, a mother's love and upbringing can change the destiny of a child. A father and his daughter never judge too quickly. A father was playing with his daughter in a park. The daughter spotted an apple seller. The daughter requested her father to buy her few apples. The father didn't bring much money with him. But he had enough money to buy two apples. So he bought two apples and gave them to his daughter. The daughter held one apple in one hand and the other apple in another hand. The father asked his daughter to share one apple with him. On hearing this, the daughter quickly took a bite from the first apple. Before the father could say anything, the daughter quickly took another bite from the second apple. The father was surprised to see this. He wondered that his daughter was very greedy. He became very sad and suddenly the daughter offered one apple to the father. She said, Father, have this apple. This apple is much more juicier and sweeter. The father was speechless. He felt very bad about reaching to a judgment too quickly. But now he had his smile back on his face after he realized why his daughter had taken bites from both the apples. The moral of the story is don't judge anything too quickly or reach to a conclusion. Always take time to understand things better. Lion and a Bee Once upon a time, a lion was sleeping outside his cave. Suddenly, a bee came buzzing around and disturbed the lion. The lion got very angry and growled. The bee laughed and said, I am not scared of you. You might be the king of the jungle, but I am much more stronger than you. If you doubt my strength, then let us fight and see who wins. The lion agreed and got ready to fight. Suddenly, the bee came and stung the lion on the nose. The lion swayed his claws to crush the bee. But he ended up hurting himself. Finally, the lion accepted his defeat. The bee was very happy. She flew around in happiness. But she did not see a cobweb and got stuck in it. A spider attacked her, killed her and ate her up. It was sheer irony that a bee who had defeated a lion was defeated by a spider who was smaller than her. The moral of the story is false pride does not lead you anywhere. The Greedy Lion Once upon a time, in a jungle, there lived a lot of animals. Among them, there was a lion. The lion was very greedy. 
One hot day, the lion was very hungry. He came out of his den and searched the jungle for food. After searching for a long time, he could find only a small rabbit. He chased the rabbit and caught him. Looking at the rabbit, he said, This rabbit is so small, he cannot fill my stomach. When the lion was about to kill the rabbit, he saw a big deer at a distance. He became very greedy. He thought, instead of eating this small rabbit, why don't I catch and eat the big deer? So he let the rabbit go and went behind the deer. He chased the deer for a long time. But eventually, the deer vanished deep inside the jungle. The lion now felt sorry for letting the rabbit go. He said, Oh no, I should have eaten the rabbit. Poor lion, he had to remain hungry for the whole day. The moral of the story is, A bird in hand is worth two in the bush. The Foolish Donkey A salt seller used to carry salt bags on his donkey to the market every day. On the way, he had to cross a bridge over a river. One day, while the donkey was walking, he suddenly tumbled down the bridge and he fell inside the water. The salt dissolved in the water and the bag became very light to carry. The donkey was very happy. The donkey thought of a plan and decided to play the same trick every day. He did this for three more days. On the third day, the salt seller understood his plan and decided to teach him a lesson. The next day, he loaded a bag full of cotton on the donkey's back. While they were crossing the bridge, the donkey played the same trick again, hoping that the bag would become lighter. But because the cotton had soaked the water, the bag became heavy. The donkey had to carry much heavier load than before. The donkey learned a lesson. He did not play the trick anymore. The salt seller was very happy. The moral of the story is, you should never run away from hard work. Pebbles Kid Stories